The dog refused the owner be buried, but when they opened the coffin, they were terrified by what they saw. Oliver, a 40-year-old man, had a very close relationship with his dog and often take his dog for a walk. However, one day during his walk with his dog, he felt a little bit tired. Oliver thought it was just migraine. But as days passed, he realized his condition was getting worse. He began to have difficulty in breathing and having high fever at night. So the following morning, Oliver went to see his doctor. After examining Oliver, it was discovered that he had an infection and prescribed medication, and his doctor also advised him to rest well. Unfortunately, one morning Oliver fell down and was unconscious, but he succumbed to his sickness. At the same time, it seems his dog sensed something was wrong and started barking. If you want to continue watching this story, kindly click on the play button below, or go to my YouTube channel to watch the full video. Oliver's wife started arranging for his funeral. As they prepared to bury the coffin, Oliver's dog pressed his neck on the coffin, stopping people to bury Oliver. Everyone was shocked, and they blamed the dog for its behavior, and when the coffin was opened by the dog, they were all completely shocked. It turned out Oliver had fallen into a coma, his vital signs so faint that even the most advanced medical equipment failed to detect them. Thanks to his dog's unwavering determination and loyalty, Oliver's life was saved. He was immediately transferred to the intensive care unit, where doctors continued to monitor his condition. Slowly but surely, Oliver began to show signs of improvement. And as he gradually regained consciousness, his first sight was the loving, faithful face of dog by his side and his family. The story of Oliver's dog act spread throughout the town, inspiring awe and admiration in all who heard it. From that day forward, Oliver's dog was hailed as a true hero, a symbol of loyalty and devotion. This cat refuses to leave this grave. Everyone was shocked. The cat refused to leave this stranger's grave. But when the police opened it, what they found would shock the world. Every day people see a cat lying on this grave. At first, the neighbors overlooked the presence of the cat. But as time goes on, the cats began to increase as two to five cats began to sit on the grave of this stranger. But what they don't know is that there lies a terrible secret. The neighbors tried their best to chase those cats away as they have increased in numbers from the grave, but those cats refused to go. People began to ask questions. Who was buried there and why was this cat so obsessed with this grave? No one around seemed to know the identity of the stranger buried in this grave. Out of curiosity, the police decided to investigate this mystery. If you want to continue watching this story, kindly click on the play button below or go to my YouTube channel to watch the full video. After obtaining the necessary permits, they decided to open the grave and see what was hidden underneath. A crowd of curious people gathered around the policeman. The cats stood by as it watched the policeman's every move. The policemen began to dig, but no one could have imagined what they would find in this grave. A long, hidden secret was about to be revealed. When the policemen opened the grave, they found out that the grave was empty, but a small key was in the grave, meaning nobody was buried, and a name was written on the tomb. Benita Makosiki, and on the key, Benita Makosiki was written on it. This prompted the police officer to do a background checkup of who Benita Makosiki was. According to the record, Benita Makosiki died in a car accident and was buried, but her tomb was empty. This made it more difficult for the police officer to get full details as the car Benita Makosiki was, was completely destroyed. But they continue to make their research by checking her house address to give them more clue of what happened to Benita Makosiki. When they got to her house, they realized that the house has been sold to another family. They called the family up for questioning. The new family revealed the identity of the man who sold the house to them. The name of the man was Copa Coma. The officer went to Copa Coma's house when they got there. They asked if he knew Benita Makosiki. He denied that he never met Benita Makosiki. But as the police officer was questioning Copa Coma, they heard a bang from an underground. The officer knew that someone was there. Immediately, they apprehend Copacoma and command him to go to the underground basement to see who was banging for help. 
When the officer got there, they saw Benita Makosiki looking lean and helpless. Copacoma was arrested, and they took Benita Makosiki for medical care. It was later discovered that Copacoma was Benita Makosiki fiancé, but because Benita Makosiki does not want to marry Copacoma because of his bad behavior and a narcissist this made Copacoma to kidnap his girlfriend, plan her accident and made her look like she is dead so that no one will look out for her because they thought she is dead. But thanks to Benita Makosiki's cat, who suspected Expected that her owner is still very much alive. Subscribe to Helen Fairy Tales YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell and select all to watch all our interesting videos that we shall be bringing to your screen. See you in my next video. Bye.